So back to our main news this morning, teachers in Aberdeen saying they're facing increasing violence and aggression in the classroom. Some say they're scared to go to work. It comes amid growing concern over abusive incidents with teachers forced to deal with issues arising from both pupils and parents. And what is behind the rise? What can be done about it? Well, let's speak to David Besley, who is the Assistant Secretary of the EIS. David, good morning to you. Good morning, Gary. A lot of people might be hearing some of the detail of this for the first time and be shocked by this. Are you shocked at what you've heard? Sadly, no, I'm not shocked at all. Uh, we've been hearing for many years from uh, within our own uh, meetings and our own internal surveys that teachers are becoming increasingly concerned with uh, significant rises in uh, violence and aggression rates within schools, uh, from, from pupils onto teachers, pupils on pupils, and even teachers on... Um, uh, sorry, on uh, parents, on uh, teachers. So uh, we produced a, um, a very detailed national survey uh, at the end of last year, which really outlined very uh, clearly and, and starkly the picture within Scotland schools. Uh, and it is that, that over 80% of schools uh, have um, violence and aggression on a daily or, or weekly basis. And there are many other statistics from other um, research uh, and surveys that back that up, including from the government's own uh, behaviour in Scottish schools report. Yeah, we have teachers in Aberdeen speaking out this morning, but your contention is that wherever you go in Scotland, teachers are are facing the same issues? Yes, uh, indeed. And uh, the, the surveys that we carry out uh, across uh, the, the length and breadth of Scotland illustrate that point. There are, there are issues to do with pupil behaviour in all parts of Scotland, in all schools uh, and in all sectors. I understand you're not shocked because, as you say, you've been dealing with this a long time, but what are the worst examples that you have heard? Well, we, we, we uh, deal with um, teachers who have been assaulted and go to hospital with broken bones. Uh, and that's without, of course, the, the mental health, post-traumatic stress disorders and the effects on uh, teachers' mental health uh, after uh, long-term dealing with um, very um, aggressive situations and classes. What do you believe is at the root of this? I mean, we all remember our school days, there were disruptive pupils, but people would probably argue that in their day, as it were, it, it wasn't as nearly as bad as the situation that you have reported here. What do you believe has changed? Well, I think the first step is to accept that it has changed and to accept it has got worse. Um, to be honest with you, you know, we report on what teachers experience and we don't we don't really look into the causality of it um but there is you know there are some um impressions across the profession um that the first one is that we've come from about uh, 14 years of austerity and the spending cuts over the long term towards um education education staff the reduction in staffing and uh, fewer uh, professional support staff uh, the increase in um, pupil counselling, which is a welcome, but it does show the, the increasing challenges that young people face. Uh, clearly, there is the influence of social media, um, which is um, in the news quite often these days. We, we don't know the effect of school closures during COVID and that whole sort of stressful period of that two years of our lives. Um, we've got a large number of ASN uh, pupils, that's additional uh, support need pupils in Scotland, that we believe do not have their, uh, their needs properly met, and that might be driving some issues as well. There's also, obviously, in Scotland, a, a presumption of mainstreaming, so you have fewer pupils going to special schools, and some special schools are indeed closing. Um, and, and there's also some um, theories around that parental engagement uh, within uh, with, with schools is is loosening. And are parents taking this seriously? Well, uh, it's difficult to say from 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 um, from from our uh, engagement with our members. It's very clear that there are uh, increasing problems with uh, some parents in that the, the, you know, there are increasing uh, incidents of violence and aggression towards uh, teachers, especially in this age of social media. 
Having said that, you know, we, we work with parental organisations and we're very aware of all the good work that parents do uh, supporting their pupils, supporting schools. So, uh, you know, it's very difficult to, to place the blame on parents or, or believe indeed that parents are the solution to the problem. We've heard from some parents that they've taken their children out of schools because of the bad behaviour. They're homeschooling them. Um, is that one of the likely effects here? And, and what effect does this have on recruit, recruitment for teachers? Well, w one of the questions we, we put in our National Branch Survey that, um, that published last November is the impact on pupils. And the you know 99 percent of responses from branches were very clear that violence and aggression has a significant adverse impact on pupils not only on their sort of security and, and well-being and happiness in class but also the impact on their on their learning their ability to um to focus on their work their their happiness uh, school absence rates internal truancy rates so Yes, violence and aggression does have an impact on, on pupils, uh, as much of an impact on pupils as it does on teachers. Um, for, for teachers, uh, it is a struggle. I mean, you're hearing it from the, the colleagues in uh, Aberdeen City. It is a struggle, and I think that um, it requires increased um, government and local authority support in order to make uh, a, a significant difference in our schools. Are people getting out of the profession just finally because of this? Well, yes. I mean, there, there are, there, you know, the, the profession does have um, at the moment a, a large uh, churn effect of, of and, and many people come into the profession uh, and leave the profession very shortly after they, um, they enter it. Because it is um, proving to be, for some people, uh, a difficult job, but for obviously for the majority, it's a very rewarding job. David, thanks very much for speaking to us this morning.